Today on Real Spirits and Gear, we check out a couple of brand new microphones from Sterling Audio. Sterling Audio just came out with an entire new line of microphones. Now, if you say to yourself, I've never heard of Sterling, you have certainly heard Sterling, namely, and most famously, in my opinion, with my good buddy Rob Scallon, who that microphone that he has used to record and mic all of his instruments and all of his voice, uh, voice over parts and everything that you've ever heard in his videos is using a Sterling microphone. And Sterling has just rolled out the newest generation of their microphones. And for review, I have the ST-159 and the ST-159. 69. Now, I thought it would be fun to compare these two because these are essentially the same microphones, but one is a uh, FET condenser and the other is a tube condenser. And I thought it'd be fun to do a little A-B test using an acoustic guitar. Now, before we get to that, I should note that each of these microphones has three different patterns, a cardioid, Omni and figure eight, which is selectable right on the back, which is very, very convenient. Also a uh, low pass, or I guess a high pass, a high pass and a minus 10 dB attenuation for use with things like loud guitar cabinets and things like that. Now, before we go on, I wanted to point out one small thing that I thought was incredibly cool. Check out the shock mounts for these Sterling microphones. Now these are part replaceable. I mean, these are using fasteners. This is not some cheap um, pot metal shock mount. These are very, very high quality shock mounts. And right when I opened up the case, I just, I couldn't believe the robustness of the shock mounts of these microphones, these are incredible and they come with extra rubber bands uh, in case you have some break or dry out over the years or what have you. But each individual part, I don't know if you can see that, is replaceable with screws. You can just unscrew various parts and replace them as opposed to throwing out the entire shock mount. I thought that was really cool and refreshing in this day and age of save a buck here, save a buck there, and corner cutting in general. I thought that was really, really cool, and I was really impressed with that. So, without further ado, let's compare the ST-159 with the ST-169. Now, the 169 has its own power supply, which it is included with, but both of these are going into a Stam Audio 1073 MPA preamp straight into a Focusrite Claret 8 now there is no post EQ at all on either one of these mics. There is a tiny bit of compression uh, being added by an API 2500 uh, compressor. It's just kind of kissing it a little bit. Nothing too aggressive, just for some general evenness. And there is a slight bit of reverb added for width. Now I will uh, AB between these two and what you are hearing is the microphones. You will hear a difference mainly in the mid range and the top end, uh, the 169 is, has a little bit more clarity than the 159, but at 299 and 499 respectively, uh, the ST-159 brings a lot of bang for the buck. So let's get to the acoustic track, shall we?
there you have it. Uh, the difference is, I wouldn't call them subtle, but if you are on a budget, I highly recommend the 159. I've been using the 159 for my other series for Joey Sturge's Tones and uh, for the in the studio segments, but the microphone, you can see the top of the microphone, but I haven't exactly been forthcoming with what I've been using up until now because these haven't been available. So I've been using uh, this microphone, the ST159 for mainly voiceover work and things like that. And I have found it to be exceptional in that field. It requires no EQ at all with my voice in particular. I just run it with a little tiny bit of compression and it is amazingly sensitive and just really, really accurate sounding. So if you have a little bit extra money to spend, I definitely would recommend the ST169. Uh, the tube warmth and the tube goodness is just really, really awesome. And yeah, I think uh, if you're on a budget and want to do it all microphone, but you'd want to move away from maybe the dynamic range of microphones that's currently out there, definitely take a look at the new Sterling line. They are uh, super, super awesome. And I'll be using them plenty around here. I'll put my links down below in the description. You've been wonderful. I've been fluffed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.